Sona M50 is out from Canon. It's a mirrorless camera, but check this out. It's got 4K. So today I'm looking at whether this is an ideal starter camera for shooting video. And why have I got a dead hamster on this? It's not a dead hamster, it's a mic. It's alive! Oh, <laughs> Oh yes, the Canon M50 is here, a mirrorless camera with 4K video recording. I wish Canon did this three years ago, but nevertheless, it is still exciting to see Canon finally stepping into the world of 4K. So as I said, it's got 4K, tested this out, we went to the Canon press event, it's got 1080 as well. If you want, if you want to shoot 50p, 60p, not in 4K, only in 1080, but you can kind of expect us. I mean, this is an entry-level camera, kind of. It's not even to the M5, M6 level, which is more expensive. This is kind of cheap. It's about 600 quid, so you can't expect too much. But what we want to know is how good the 4K is, and that's really all that matters. It's all about 4K footage now, isn't it? Even if you don't use 4K, if you don't publish in 4K, everything looks crispier when you shoot in 4K, export 1080. Always a good technique to shoot in 4K and then downsample to 1080. It gives you a sharper, cleaner image with less artifacts like moiré. I mean, for start, for entry level, it's got pretty much all the things you need. You've got a mic input, so you can put your, your dead cat hamster thing on the top. And the great thing is you can adjust the mic level adjustments manually. It's, it's not like some entry level cameras where they just remove that completely. So this kind of means business, but it's it's got a tilty flippy screen as well. Which is really good. Yeah. For video. Good for video people. But the, the quirky thing is that, well maybe it's not that quirky, but the 4K is only accessible when you've got the dial on movie mode there. When you've got it on manual AV TV P, it kind of removes the 4K functionality. Apart from this quirk, the menu on M50 is really user-friendly. It's a Canon. You can easily reach all the controls you want. The touchscreen is also responsive and bright. You know, one thing I hope they do, somebody does, is bring out a speed booster. Because the crop on the video is... We worked this out. It's, obviously, it's an APS-C, so it's 1.6 with Canon, 1.6 times. And then when you shoot 4K, it's got an additional 1.5 times crop. It works out about 2.4 times crop. But if somebody introduces a speed booster, that would make things sweet, I think. This would make it quite... A proper usable. Yeah. But in terms of rolling shutter, it is noticeable. It's noticeable with 4K. The 4K image from the M50 is actually quite good looking. The colour science from Canon really makes the footage shine, but the problem is the huge 2.4 times crop factor. A 20mm lens will become a 50mm full frame field of view equivalent. It is really hard to get a wide shot on the M50. When it comes to rolling shutter, it's quite noticeable with a telephoto lens. With a wide angle lens, perhaps not quite as noticeable. And of course with 1080p you get dual pixel autofocus and dual pixel autofocus is the best thing ever it's better than roast pork look i mean probably this is better yeah you're right actually like that is tasty you can't eat dual pixel autofocus not very tasty but dual pixel autofocus is crispy. is quite it's crispy yeah it's it's kind of good it's like the crispy skin Dual pixel autofocus is one of the unique selling points for Canon cameras. It is the most reliable video autofocusing system currently on the market. The M50 has advanced dual pixel autofocus. It is super reliable when shooting in 1080p. But however, the big but, the huge mammoth size ass, is that you don't get it with 4K. It's contrast detect autofocus. Oh no, why do you do this to us, Canon? This is shot in 4K with contrast detect AF. You can easily tell it's nowhere near as reliable as dual pixel autofocus. I mean, it's got the latest um, processor, Digic 8, which is should be quite good. It's got, I mean, when you're shooting stills, it's got face detection autofocus. So, 
Whoa, no! Magic lantern! Do something! These are some more shots in 4K and I have to say, it does look great considering the price and also the size of the camera. The 4K footage isn't bad, it's, it's pretty decent. The key thing is that it is 4K. Yeah, 120 megabits per second, even the, the Sony A7S II doesn't do 100 megabits per second, 120 megabits, I think it's 100, isn't it? So, more megabits per second. If you're not using this for the autofocus in low light situations, it's actually all right, it's not too bad. But this really is a camera made not for video geeks. This is for, this is for people starting out. This, for me, this is really good for YouTubers. This is actually a fantastic camera for people who want to become a YouTuber. It's easy to use, great for beginners. But it's not, for vloggers, it's not really all about image quality as such. I mean, it's not about having log you don't need it you can't be the canon straight out of camera beautiful color science bam this and get on these bum cheeks as well the very thing on top of the m50 is the sennheiser mke 440 it records beautiful stereo sound personally i love this mic a lot short flange short flange distance means you can mount all different kind of vintage legacy lenses or whatever you call it from the yeah, past you still, get 4K. you still get 4k yeah you get a nice soft glow that vintage glow from the lenses and hopefully you can use a speed booster hurry up somebody make it if there is going to be a speed booster being made to adapt ef lenses to the efm mount i would be so happy this will hopefully bring down the crop factor to something like 1.7 still quite a big crop but much more usable Overall, the M50 is a good camera, with some slight disappointments. The stabilization is electronic. The 4K doesn't have dual pixel autofocus, but the good thing is Canon is finally catching up with the resolution game. And look, this is an entry-level camera. And I do hope they can keep it up and bring us more exciting products.